Hey y'all! Last weekend we went to Disney Springs and I'll link the video for that down below. And we went to the boathouse and I had heard wonderful things about the boathouse from a gluten-free perspective and I'm happy to say that I had a great experience there. So this is my gluten-free dinner review of the boathouse. As always, I am gluten intolerant. I do not have celiac. I am not allergic to wheat. So from what works for me might not work for you and make sure that you always speak with a manager or with a chef and feel 100% comfortable with what you're eating as I'm okay with cross-contamination, but I just really want you to make sure that you're okay with what you're eating. Additionally, both our dining experience and this review happened during COVID-19. So experiences and menu items may be different in the future. The boathouse is located in Disney Springs in the landing section of Disney Springs. It is right around the corner from Terralina Craft and Italian, kind of near Paddlefish. It's right next to where the Amphicar launches are and it's by where there's an area for bands to play. Since this is during COVID-19, we felt more comfortable dining outside. So when we made our reservation, we specifically requested to have a table that was outdoors. We were led all the way through the whole entire restaurant to a little table that was in the very back side of the restaurant. So we had a view of Rainforest Cafe and we were kind of secluded back there. There were only two other families back there in our area and there was nobody on the right hand side of us. So it kind of felt like private dining. Um, there were people kind of close to us on the other side, but we felt pretty safe there eating considering there weren't a ton of people. The boathouse did have paper menus during this time and they took them from us when we were done. So I'm not sure if they are throwing them away. I'm assuming that they're throwing them away after each person uses them. Um, I know a lot of restaurants in Disney Springs are using QR codes right now, but the boathouse did actually have paper menus that they were giving their guests. When our waiter greeted us, he actually did not ask if there were any allergies, but I informed him that I had to eat gluten-free and he said that he would get a manager so that she could come out and talk with me about what I wanted to eat. When the manager did come out, she said that they had gluten-free dinner rolls available for me to eat. So that was pretty exciting. I love a good roll before dinner. <laughs> and then she asked me if there was anything on the menu that I was already looking at. And I told her I was looking at the mahi tacos. And she said that those could be made gluten-free and already pretty much were gluten-free. So they have no gluten-free menu, and I'm not going to go over the menu with you because you can find it online, but basically you pretty much just pick what you want to eat, and then the manager will talk with you either how to make it gluten-free or just tell you already if it is gluten-free. The dinner roll that she brought out was actually a hamburger bun, but I'm not going to complain because it was pretty good. It was warm, and it wasn't the Udi's buns are really crumbly, but I don't know what brand this was. I forgot to ask. It was not crumbly at all. Like it tasted pretty good actually. So if you're wanting any of their burgers or sandwiches, they do have gluten-free buns available. So you could have it with a gluten-free bun. The dish I got was the mahi tacos. It was actually really good. I am just now becoming a fish fan. So it didn't taste totally fishy to me. Um, my first bite, I was kind of expecting chicken because it looked like chicken and it was not chicken, so that threw me off of it. But once I remembered that it was fish, it was really good. It had a little bit of a kick to it, and I've heard that a lot of Boathouse's food does have some kick to it, but I'm a wimp when it comes to spice, and it wasn't overbearing. It was really good. They come on corn tortillas already, so that's gluten-free as it is. The corn tortilla chips on top, however, are fried in a shared fryer. So they weren't gluten-free, but again, I am okay with a little bit of cross-contamination, so I was okay with eating them. But if you do have to eat completely gluten-free, then uh, make sure you don't get the corn tortilla chips since they are not 100% safe. We will definitely be back to the boathouse. I am very excited to try more items on the menu. I really enjoyed sitting outside next to the water. We got to watch the amphicars go by as we ate, and that was really relaxing and fun. There was a nice breeze, even though it was like 90 degrees outside, it still felt comfortable while we were out there. So we will definitely be back to the boathouse. As always, be sure to check out my website, twirlingdownmainstreet.com for the full written review of the boathouse. I also have other reviews of other Disney restaurants that I've done as well as allergy menus that I have pictures of. Thank you for watching. Be sure to subscribe. 
Wear your mask, wash your hands, be safe, and we will see you later.